So how is the state continuing to handle these ongoing protests? So like uh, last night and, and the nights before that, uh, we have a, a very large number of Texas Department of Public Safety officials uh, here in Austin, as well as in the other large cities where uh, the large protests are taking place. In addition to that, here in Austin and certain other locations around the state of Texas, uh, the National Guard is providing additional support. Uh, I think there's something like more than uh, 2,000 officers strategically uh, provided to various different regions uh, and about the same number of National Guard uh, arrayed across the state of Texas. And uh, you've seen from uh, the way that they were able to maintain control uh, these past few nights. But uh, candidly, we've also seen that uh, the protesters have uh, become a little bit more focused on being peaceful. There are a few uh, outside agitators that still try to cause some problems and interfere with the protesters, uh, but hopefully that will remain minimized. And Governor, people are calling for change when it comes to policing. As Governor, what would you like to see done, and how can you help make that change? Well, most simply, uh, what I want to see done uh, is to make sure we never have in Texas uh, what happened in, in Minnesota, uh, what happened to George Floyd should never happen here in the state of Texas. And so uh, we need to work on strategies. And there's two ways we can go about this process. Uh, one is at the uh, local police department level and then the state police department level also uh, for them to implement policies uh, with regard to the use of force. Uh, second is uh, for state law proposals. And as it concerns state law proposals, I've already begun those uh, conversations with lawmakers and uh, we need to get input from lawmakers across the entire state of Texas as we uh, begin to uh, craft and then draft a proposed legislation that uh, the legislature will consider in the upcoming session. Now, we know that uh, while protesters have been throughout downtown Austin, some even at the governor's mansion this week, what would it take to get you out there interacting and meeting with some of those protesters? You know, it, it's something to consider, uh, and we will just uh, look, evaluate that uh, as the process proceeds. But uh, th there's a goal that we have here uh, as a state, and that is we, we want to provide uh, the protesters uh, the opportunity to uh, exercise their First Amendment rights, but most importantly, uh, do so in a very safe setting uh, without the interference from these outside agitators. And I know that you've spoken with uh, police chiefs and mayors across the state of Texas. Have you had any conversations with civil rights leaders here in the state? Well, it, it depends on how you define that. Uh, when I had the conversation uh, with George Floyd, uh, they had a, a lot of people uh, on that call, uh, including some civil rights leaders. Uh, and so I did have the opportunity to visit with them uh, about uh, some of the ideas and issues that they would like to focus on. And, and I want to make sure uh, that we keep them engaged in this process as we move forward. And switching gears a little bit now, Governor, I know that you're concerned about a jump in the number of COVID-19 cases here in Texas. And we actually did see a spike after Memorial Day. Well, and there, there have been increases in various areas for different reasons. Uh, we can't tell yet the extent to which it could have been 